Hello, hello, D-Rock here. Welcome to the channel. I hope you all are well. So I've returned to this area and I'm going to go deeper into the hills. I was just out here on the Suzuki DR650 and I got a little bit down this road here, heading down into it and I want to get deep in here and see where this goes. I, I went so far with the Suzuki and I just didn't feel comfortable with the tires and I thought it would be better to come back with the XT250. So that is what I'm on to today. And that's the plan. So we're just going to go deeper into the hills and see what we run into. So join me for the ride. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. It is free and it helps us out tremendously. We want to grow this channel. So please subscribe. Give us a like if you like the video. If you don't like it, hit the dislike. Leave a comment too. All these things help us grow so thank you very much for joining us let's ride all right so this section going down is just a little interesting actually so chunky and loose just take my time going down this yeah i'm gonna go a little farther today i'm pretty stoked see what we run into feel a little better being on the xt Better tires anyway, lighter bike, you know how that goes. Oh. We're gonna have ourselves a good old look. So when I was checking out the map and this road connects and I think I can wrap around and exit where I entered the area at. It's like kind of turn this into a big loop, I, I think. I ain't making no promises because Things can certainly seem a little deceiving out here, but uh, yeah, we're gonna find out. If you're not familiar, the area I'm riding in, I'm in southwestern Utah, and like I mentioned, I was just out here on the Suzuki, heading up to a, a reservoir, Enterprise Reservoir, and I kind of stopped and checked out some of these secondary roads, and well, let's just say my my curiosity was peaked. So we're gonna keep going. I think uh, there's one that's called the Bill Hall ATV Trail back here, but I don't know. I didn't get too far in the Suzuki. I got far enough that I was like, nah, maybe this isn't such a great idea. So, well, so here I am. We'll get farther with the XT for sure. All right, so this is about as far as I got on the DR. Not too far in, but this wasn't really my destination, so uh, I decided to turn back right around here. I didn't know, because you never know what's gonna, what you're gonna get into out here on these roads. So, especially with all the weather we had this past winter, it could be just absolutely tore up. And now I've officially gone farther than I did the other day on the DR. So we're gonna have a good look. But uh, it's beautiful out here. And I'm in mid-May right now, and it's uh, breezy and cool out here. I'm at a higher elevation than St. George, so it just feels great out here. I'll be out here for the next few hours tooling around, but uh, beautiful breezy day. Yeah, great place to be. There is a road that goes up on that ridge over there and I have yet to locate it I just can't seem to find it I don't know if it comes from the backside or what but I cannot locate it I want to get up there I don't know I'm pretty sure it's a road Look at this stuff. Oh, 
that's just good clean fun right there. Ooh wee. That's oh. Yeah. Take it nice and cool, man. Alright, well, once again we're at that, that point where I'm wondering if this is such a good idea. I mean this is uh it's not bad but and it's not too steep so I don't think I'll have a problem getting back up it but oh, like I said I kind of wanted to loop out of here that would be ideal but you never really know what you're gonna run into so we'll just uh Pay, pay attention to what we're doing. <laughs> so will take this one real easy. I mean, I'm not worried about getting back up this. It's, it's really not, it's not too steep. Because it's really loose. And if it was really steep, then we might have a situation. But, I don't know. I'll get down farther and then I'll, I'll check my track see uh, what the story is. Oh, that's a steep one right there though, isn't it? Uh, oh, oh. Whoa. That is so much for not being steep. God, this stuff is just it's like marbles. Riding on marbles. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna walk this thing down real easy right here. Cause this is steep and loose. Ooh. Man, I'm glad I didn't take the Suzuki back here this far. Might have got ugly. Those tires. Alright. Keep the drama low today. This kind of reminds me of descending Hellhole Pass. If I must be honest. Although not as steep, but uh, the terrain somewhat similar. Hmm. Now that is a nice place to camp right there. Hmm. All right, there I am. The arrow. I just added a waypoint. And I can loop around. So that's what I'm going to try and do. I need to be a little conscious of my mileage. I did bring one container of gas, but off a tank I can go 120 miles thereabouts on the XT. So I think with that extra container of gas, that might push me. I don't know. I have no idea, to be honest with you. How much farther I'll get me get. There's no way this is like 140 miles doing this loop. It just can't be. But it sure looks that way on the map. Like it's it's big, but I don't know. So I'm gonna try and loop out, but I also if it gets bad I might have to turn back. So we'll take it as far as we can. Oh, more marbles. Let's just be cool here. Let's go low. Dang, it is sloppy <laughs> Oh my Oh man this is good stuff here Under the impression the whole ride's gonna be in this. I'm glad I brought a sandwich. Ooh, man, that looks mean. Let's let's just inch down here and see what we're dealing with. Hmm. 
It's not so bad. Don't think I want to come up it, but... Huh. Alright, that could have been worse, I guess. <laughs> oh. We're walking down some of this. Hmm. Oh. Whoa, 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 whoa. Ease up. Ease up. Ah, this this will be fun to get up. Dang it, I'm, I'm committed now. minute oh what's that I got cross some water here hmm all right oh I got some signage here some agua Bull Valley ATV Trail. I don't know if I want to do that. Let's have a look at the map. Sweet! I don't need any of my precious gas to leak out. Yep. There we go. So these are all roads. There I am. There's the Bull Valley ATV trail. I'm not going to do this, but I could continue on here to Daggett Flat and come through down Grapevine Wash and Tobin Wash. Then in Tobin Wash, it's uh, at Sporty, and then I could come out of Gunlock. I bet that's an interesting ride. I'm under the impression that I'll have plenty of gas for this ride, this loop, and uh, <sighs> hmm. my descent, I believe, is for the most part over, so I don't think I'm going to have to get into anything too sketchy, but... Like I said, you never know out here, so we're heading that away. Where or where are we going to end up? Daggett Flat. That's our that's our place. Oh, I still might have some descending to do. Alright. And I think I'll have plenty of gas for this. See, I might have to go back up. Who knows? I should say I have my inReach with me. So, <laughs> that's a good thing too. Well, it looks a little hilly, doesn't it? Also looks like there's weather building back behind those hills. Hmm. I see this road goes over and out that way. All right, that's my point. Okay, if I go right, that'll take me around to Daggett Flat. If I go down that, that takes me through Bull Canyon. That way loops around and 
this is kind of a shortcut. Is it a good shortcut or a bad shortcut? <sighs> I don't know. So, <laughs> man, let's go have a look. I'm going to take the shortcut, Bull Canyon. And once again, we are on another instance where I am very, very, very happy to be on the XT250. <laughs> yeah. Very happy. Wonder what Bull Canyon. I got a feeling this is going to be a really steep drop. Mm. Maybe it will, maybe it won't. piece at a time man one piece at a time All right, it's not so bad Camera's not doing this justice, I'm sure. This is real steep and loose. We're just gonna take it easy. Oh, easy does it, easy does it. Canyon, something else. What do we got here? some signage dag it flats out away I must be I must be out of Bull Canyon I'm gonna go that away and uh, it looks like it's going to be really interesting the topography and we're off Yeah, this, this, this road looks like it's going through all types of contour lines, so y'all know what to expect. 
man, that looks kind of deep right there, doesn't it? Nice spot to camp. Big old cottonwood tree. Wow. Seen some beautiful places to camp back here. Oh, here we go. We're going up. Alrighty. Oh, how steep is this? Not bad. Like I said, man, this, this road looks like it's going through lots of contour intervals, up and down, up and down. There ain't nothing level about this ride. Oh, yeah, here we go. Whoa. Go! Alright. Let's take a break for a second right here. I get the feeling it's about to get interesting. That's a steep run up right there. Oh boy. Oh, it's not so bad. Uh, so far the climbs up aren't aren't too bad. They're loose, but they're they're not too steep. If it stays like this, we won't have a problem. If I get really steep, I may be walking the bike up. That was one one long climb up <laughs> and I'm back up top again well tops me right over there but wow that's that's a view boy we are deep in the hills aren't we Jeez. all right pushing on Whew. what goes up must come down right Oh, uh, do I have a feeling that I'm just going all the way back down now? Kind of. Okay, we need to take this real cool. I want to be away from that side. Oh, yeah. Huh, how about that? I know exactly where I am. Yep, Jen and I did this ride. We went down this road here and that took us out into Butcher Knife Canyon. That was a sweet ride. And it came. we came down this road here. So I'm gonna go back up it. Oh, I know exactly where I am. This is uh, some pretty interesting riding through here, so. It's really steep going up this. <laughs> yeah, I can see the, the roads, just the switchbacks are steep going all the way up to the top up there. That ought to be interesting. Well, that's where I'm headed. I'm not going that way. This is the shorter route. So, all right. Okay. 
It's good to know where you are. Boy, there's some awesome views right here. Look at this. Ooh. And here comes my drop. This is a pretty good drop, I remember it. Oh, I'll take it easy. Uh, check out those flowers, man. Everything's in bloom right here. Very nice. All right. Comes the descent. Eased up. That's nice and slow. and slow. Boy, this is a steep one. Ooh. I think I distinctly remember when I came up this thinking, oh, I'm glad I'm not going down this. Or maybe I'm just telling myself that now. Whew. Yeah, a long drop. Up. We've got a corner. Oh, don't do that. Ah, I love first gear on the XT. It's so slow. It's awesome. We're gonna we're gonna go down this descent. Super chill. Nope. I'm actually really surprised the road's in good condition. I thought it would have been fared a lot worse after all the weather we had this past winter. Very nice. Well, so far, I mean, I don't know what's, what's farther down, so I guess it could be ruined. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not worried about gas anymore either. I, I got plenty of gas to finish this out. So that's, that's off my mind. That's nice. Whoa, that's, a, let's go right there. All right, we're almost down. Oh man, this is this is the cakewalk now. Easy cruising out of here. Well, I have one more obstacle to get through. And I have a possible water crossing. And it was impassable not too long ago because so much water had come down and the mud was so bad. So if I'm running into that and can't get through it, well, I have to turn back <laughs> and figure out a different way. So, uh, yeah, I totally forgot about that until just a few seconds ago. Oh, here it is. Not bad at all. Wasn't too long ago. This was like a raging creek through here and the mud was horrific. Oh, that's just a piece of cake now. All right, well, that's it. No 
more obstacles. It's smooth sailing from here. Yeah, I'm good. We're out of here. Just down here, a few miles, and I'll be back on the asphalt. Awesome ride. Still, I didn't even hit the halfway mark, so I've still got... What am I looking at? 48, so... I'm about 45 miles. Yeah, I didn't even hit the halfway park, so I have plenty of gas left. Still would have felt a little better having another can of gas with me. One was good, but two is always better. So, you know. But uh, it worked out well. Didn't drop the bike, didn't crash, all good. Those were some steep descents and ascents on this ride. The initial descent down and into Bull Canyon was interesting so I took it pretty easy through there and I was glad I was on the XT but uh, the ride itself was fantastic great day beautiful weather awesome bike feeling great there you have it, folks deeper into the hills Bull Canyon run good times as always thank you very much for watching if you're new to the channel please consider subscribing it helps us out so much we want to grow, grow, grow. Hit that subscribe, leave a comment, hit the like button, hit the dislike button. And folks, lots more content on the way. So stick with us, stay safe out there, wear your gear. We'll see you next time. D-Rock out, adios.